Hello, everyone. This is John Turner McClelland with Cooper Mac Realty, powered by Worth Clark Realty Group. I'm here today with Blair Raggio of Allegiance Title. Hi, Blair. How are you doing? Hi, John. Doing well. How are you? Good. So we wanted to meet you today to learn a little bit about you and about Allegiance Title, what you do there, and why we should be choosing Allegiance over the umpteen other title companies around here. Um, Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I guess you've lived here your whole life. Um, yeah, so I, I have lived here my whole life. I tell everyone I grew up in the title industry. So my mom has owned Allegiance Title since I was born. It's changed names and sold and bought back and all of the good things. But I started as a kid, I say, working the summers in the office. And I actually really just started being employed here right before COVID. I started working in October, the year before COVID hit. So I've really only been here almost a year and a half, I guess now a little bit over a year and a half, almost two years. And I work as you know an attorney, a closer, and really kind of doing all the corporate strategic and development stuff for our corporate needs. So kind of a little bit of everything. And it's been really fun. I'm teaching classes and, and doing the day-to-day -day stuff that all escrow officers do. So it's, it's been fun. And do something new every day and learn a lot. Yeah, that's cool. I, I saw your title was very long, so I was wondering what your EVP of strategic development and operations. So that, does that mean person of all hats? That's Pretty much. Title. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> so I saw you went to uh, you went to Vanderbilt, you went to Southern Methodist, and uh, where else? Get you you got a JD and an MBA. Yes, both, both from SMU, but yeah. SMU. Did you do them at the same time? I did, which makes it a lot easier. You can combine hours. It only takes four years instead of five years if you do them separately. So it's much nicer to do them together. I recommend it. <laughs> Interesting to know before I got my MBA by itself. <laughs> but I never really considered getting my law degree at any point. Um, here and there, I thought about it, but I just never have. Um, it's it's a lot of effort, you know, if you don't want to do law, it's kind of hard to convince yourself to go in and do three years <laughs> right. of school for it. Yeah. It's like, hmm, should I do this? No, I don't want to. Let me force myself. Yeah, exactly. It's probably not a good idea. Uh, so since you've worked at Allegiance Title, um, obviously, you know a lot about the title industry. Why is it important for people to choose the right title company? So... Fortunately or unfortunately in Texas, title companies are regulated. So our fees are regulated under state mandate, which just means that you're not going to go get better pricing at one title company to the next. And since there are so many title companies in Texas, you got to pick one that you enjoy working with, who's going to give you the best service. And I think what Allegiance does really well is we have so much knowledge and wisdom in the title industry. Our tagline is trusted resource for results. And the biggest thing about that is, you know, we have enough resources that do allow us to come up with a solution. Because a lot of these real estate transactions, especially nowadays with everyone in this market, just going crazy, just knowing how to solve a very intricate and complicated problem when it comes to family matters, when it comes to trust and LLCs, knowing a title company that's going to do it right so that your buyers don't have repercussions down the road or your sellers and knowing that you can trust the title company to take it once they get that contract and then finish it and then not have anything left over after you know you've signed and closed is really important and I think it makes you know realtors understand okay I feel comfortable I really don't need to be babysitting a title company I think Allegiance does a good job at that because we train well for our escrow officers right yeah it's definitely a good thing to have someone that knows what they're doing instead of getting 20 questions later from the escrow officer or the, the admin that should be the one that knows what they're doing more than I do. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> clearly I didn't go, I, we're not trained in title closing as a real estate agent. So it's like, yeah. it's like we didn't go to school for that. Y'all did. <laughs> like you tell me, you know, uh -huh. what, what the answer is. Um, I can only say so much as a real estate agent legally. So it's not like, I don't have exactly. a law degree. I can't give law, legal advice. I can't, you know, do certain things that you would expect um, an agent might, but you can't legally. Totally. Yeah. And I guess also in Texas, which is different from a lot of states, the 
title company acts as the escrow office as well. Um, yes. So there's not another party involved and that makes a big difference on who you're choosing, right? Absolutely. It's kind of a one-stop shop, as you say. Yeah. yeah. Um, so where do you live locally? I live over, it's a random little area, kind of north of Lakewood and south of Lake Highlands in East Dallas. So really kind of close to downtown, probably about 15 minutes from downtown, but in a little neighborhood um, over there. And I've only been living there a couple of years, but enjoy it and really, really like that side of Dallas. So I've liked it a lot. Yeah, a lot of people like East Dallas, although I've heard it's hard to get in and out of now. Um, yes, it is. It <laughs> is. Unless you want to stay in your house all day long, you <laughs> may not want to stay there very long. It's uh, so true. Luckily, I'm close enough to 75. There. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, yeah, that helps if you're closer to 75. So, yes, exactly. Yeah. At least here in Plano, we don't have that problem yet where we're trapped. <laughs> Absolutely. Plano's. Is so great because you can get either you can get everywhere quickly which is just nice about Plano our office is in Addison so we're pretty close to Plano, yeah. our corporate office so we're pretty close to Plano which is nice yeah I think your office is not far from where I actually used to work um oh, really pre-real estate days okay I worked at Keller Springs in the tollway yeah we're that's exactly where we are oh you are <laughs> tollway towers okay yeah I was at the tollway plaza okay yeah. Um, for shoot, 18 years, probably. Oh, wow. Yeah. One thing I think is really cool about Allegiance is we offer this tip of the week. And it's a weekly video podcast that our owner, Don Moore, puts on. And it is just three to five minute video. It also comes in a podcast, which so can be just an audio that you can, you know, listen to on your phone, on your drive-in. But it gives you a tip of kind of real real market stuff that are going on right now. So last week I think was about multiple offers. So you're getting multiple offers. How do you deal with it as a seller? And then how do you compete as a buyer with multiple offers or, you know, the appraisal addendum or the new contract changes. So we've just gone and done, you know, little snippets of the new contract changes and this past couple of months. So it's been really fun to watch these videos come out and people find them really helpful you can go on our, our website and figure out how to sign up for them. There's a text platform to sign up for, and we have emails and all the good stuff. But that's one thing that I think Allegiance is really unique for because people recognize Allegiance for the tip of the week. So it's it's a good it's a good tool to have in your back pocket. Yeah, cool. I have not seen that, so I'll have, I'll have to check it out. Um, yeah. For those watching, we'll have the link in the description on YouTube of where to get to you guys, um, your website, and those kind of things. Um, do you do anything fun in Plano or Addison other than being trapped in East Dallas? <laughs> yeah, being trapped in East Dallas makes it hard to get up there. No, but I actually um, got to spend, when I first started at Allegiance, I worked out of our Plano office for about three months. So I was spending a good amount of time up in Plano. I actually asked my husband, I said, can we move to Plano in our next in our next move? So and maybe the next one we move to is we'll be up in Plano. It just, hey, we like I it up there. Get you up here. <laughs> let me know there you go Blair I appreciate it I know you've got things to do today um so I will let you go and I appreciate you being here today to shed some knowledge on allegiance yeah well thanks for having me this was fun great glad you had a good time everyone else watching appreciate you following us today everyone have a great day thanks Thank you.